The boardroom where ideas come through. The boardroom power your idea. Necessity is the mother of invention, and for real, many great ideas come from the slow churn of walking through a problem until a solution presents itself. Let me turn it the other way around. One of the strengths of a successful company is the ability to identify when a segment of customers is not effectively served by an existing provider. And not just to identify the opportunity, but to also take advantage of that and come up with better products. Welcome to the boardroom. Moses Sihenacho is my name. On this episode, I'll be telling you a short story about how Uber found its idea. I'll be telling you what they did, their challenges, and their successes. The story will help open your eyes to see problems that can be turned to business. By the way, Americans pronounced Uber, but I pronounced Uber. I pronounced Uber because I'm a proud African, so I'm not apologetic about it. And you don't need to pardon my accent because that's who I am. Uber was a child of necessity. A problem presented itself and it was turned to a solution. And of course, you know that when you have a solution, it's as good as money. Now, the story is simple. It was on a cold winter evening. Two great guys, Travis Kalanick and Karat Kamp, they had traveled for a tech conference in Paris. And you know, getting a ride on a snowy night is quite difficult. They couldn't get a ride to the conference center. Right there, they had a problem of transportation. On the spot, Uber was conceived. Now, you have to know that getting an idea is as simple as that. It's as easy as picking up a dish. Uber was founded on a single idea. And that idea is, what if you could request a ride from your phone? What if you could request a ride from your phone? Simple. In 2009, these two entrepreneurs, they developed a smartphone app that lets people tap a button and get a ride. So Uber was launched. The first ever Uber rider request a trip was across San Francisco in California. When they saw the market viability of the product, they began to cover more cities within the US. And mind you, products could be tangible or intangible. But in this case, it is intangible, which is a service. They later went global. Three years after, Uber was launched in the same city where the idea was conceived. It was launched in Paris. Uber didn't stop at that. They began to diversify and come up with more features. Uber Pool was launched. Uber Pool is simply a product feature where riders headed in the same direction were now able to share a ride and share the cost. So making the service more affordable. They launched food delivery service called Uber Eats, which I also benefited from by being a driver to survive in my early days in the US. Currently, Uber completes about 1.5 billion trips per quarter. Imagine if a trip generates as little as 5 cents. How much would that be? Do the calculation and keep the answer. In 2020, Uber made $11.1 billion, even amidst the pandemic. Mind you, Uber only provides the platform where business activities take place. I mean, they just provide the app. They don't even have a single vehicle on the road. Today, this original transport disruptor, of course, that is what I prefer to call them, original transport disruptor. Uber operates in 80 countries and more than 700 cities around the globe. What a success. Now, let me jump to the processes Uber went through to achieve what they are today. I will mention four of them. The first one is ideation and brainstorming. They identified a consumer need. In other words, they discovered what is missing in the marketplace and found real solution. 
And so they started creating roadmap to the final product. A creative problem solving technique was deployed in which the problem is turned around and considered from different point of view to spawn new and different solutions. But do you know one thing that worked very fast for Uber? The answer is simple. They are the early adopters. That means they are the first in that market. So you as an entrepreneur, you want to think of innovative thing to do or add to your product to give you an edge in your industry. It could be a simple product benefit or product feature. The second thing Uber did was that they collaborated with designers to develop the application. They worked together with experts to get the desired result. So you need to collaborate in trying to develop your idea. The third thing was that they created a prototype. They started working on mock-up and samples and testing it out and making necessary adjustments. They keep the idea simple. The service was tested in New York with only three cars and it was a huge success. The fourth thing Uber did was to roll out the product. That means they launched to the market and continued to promote the service. But as they keep striving in the marketplace, they never relaxed. Uber continues to explore innovative strategies to maintain the tempo. Now let's talk a little about funding. After starting in 2009 and launching its first ride in 2010, the company received its first major funding, a $1.25 million round led by first round capital. That made 2011 a crucial year for Uber's growth. So guys, I would like to encourage you that if your idea is good enough, somebody somewhere will notice you, no matter how long it takes. So don't start worrying about funding. In a separate episode, I'll be making a video on funding your idea. Now, would you like to know the challenges Uber faced with the app? Bear in mind that in any product development, there will be obstacles, there will be challenges, there will be doubters. Some people will not believe in you, no matter what you do. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, perseverance, commitment, and consistency, there are no limits you can go. Uber faced some challenges with the app. I'm not going into details because of time. Uber faced the issues of women's safety. You will hear women say things like, the first thing that comes to my mind while booking a cab is my safety. That was a very huge challenge at the beginning. Another challenge was that drivers were dropping passengers at wrong locations. It was also taking too long for drivers to arrive or pick passengers. In addition to this, Uber was dealing with the behavior of some of the drivers. These are early challenges Uber encountered, but they were not deterred. They were determined. They continue to fix these issues. And today, Uber is a success story. You too can be a success story by taking the bull by the horn. Because opportunities don't just happen. You create them. Start today. Friends, I will close this episode with a quote by Benjamin Franklin. He says, Many people die at 25 but are not buried until they are 75. You shall not be one of them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be getting my weekly videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and share my video. Thank you and bye for now. The